This season, New Jersey Ballet Company is having its 60th anniversary season. Uh, we're a statewide company. We perform throughout the state in different venues. Part of Assisted Living Week, what I wanted to do was capture a special moment in a resident's life. So I developed a, it's never too young, you're never too old to dream contest. And I had a box out on the information station and I encouraged them to put in their dreams in the box. Joanna's was in there and she said, I always wanted to be a ballerina. So I thought that was maybe something that I can help happen. I just can dance, you know? I like it, and um, I always wanted, I like ballet, I always wanted to be a ballerina. I had, um, I had a stroke, but I had, first I had Crohn's disease, and um, then, um, they um, were trying to do everything to fix it, but they couldn't. I was getting worse and worse. I was dying. So they had to take me in and operate on me. The operation was successful. It was a long operation. And they didn't know that I had a stroke until afterwards. I woke up and then I couldn't move my left arm. And so they had a couple of doctors look at me and they said it was a stroke. We use dance both because we dance to the rhythm of music as well as coordination of the movement to the music. Um, we find that it's very beneficial to those with a movement disorder for coordination as well as regaining rhythm. Today we're going to do some bar work uh, at the bar here and uh, just some basic ballet steps that um, all dancers do and then we're going to do a few things moving across the floor and start pushing the coordination a little bit. And I'm going to make it a little harder for you. Made me feel good. It was nice. It made me remember, like, once how I used to do all that, you know? Just to see one person to, to fulfill a dream like that, it was just, I get choked up. It was just unbelievable. It was really nice. I won't forget that.